Hello, my name is Fafta and welcome to a different type of video. Today is a tutorial on how to um, set up your follower notification alert thingy mobile using Twitch alerts. So it's going to be quite simple and hopefully I can get through this quite easily. So firstly, you're going to need to go to the twitchalerts.com site, which I will put a link in the description below. After you go into the site, you are going to have to press watch Twitch alerts. Sorry about the waiting time. Then connect with Twitch well, with your account. So just give it a couple seconds. You just need to authorize it. So it might have to be five grand. Yeah, let's. Why the hell not? Uh, Alright, after you've done that, you can just go straight to the alert box. Now, here you can actually customize how you want the follower alerts to be. The alert delays, I want it to be 8 seconds, so I'm just going to pop up 8 seconds. Say settings. I want to follow alerts. And then, yeah, you can just customize your own text as well. Uh, you can also customize the animation that comes out and also the image that you want it to be. So, here's a gallery, and you can choose from one of these here. So, a zombie, Rockstar thingy, Zelda, no, Link, sorry. I, I'm going to get so much hate for that. Uh, yeah, so you get pretty much a lot of these characters here. That's cute, I might use that. Oh, that's cool. Uh, okay, let's get out of this. Uh, you can also choose your subscription alerts and your donation alerts and your hosting alerts as well. So, after that, we're going to have to go download a CLR browser source plugin. So, you just click that. I, oop, I clicked the middle button. So, I'm just going to have to go up here. Now you're gonna have to download the actual pro um, the files itself. So you're gonna have to uh, which one is it? Um, if you have a 32-bit um, computer, you're gonna have to download one. So, but I'm gonna download this one instead. I already have it, but I'll download it for you guys as well. Just take a while because it's exactly like midnight right now. So it's gonna a lot of people are using the internet, so it's gonna be a bit slow. I'll be back once it's finished. Alright, what seemed like seconds for you was two hours for me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's just get this started with. Um, now, since the file is a 7 z file, you're gonna have to either download 7 zip or you're just gonna have, you can change it to, I guess, uh, Winbra. Let's see. I think you can change it in RAW. Give me a second. I forgot what the file was called. I think it's called a RAW file. Yeah, it's called a RAW file. So you can open it with a RAW. Dang it. Alright, I'm gonna have to unchange that. Open it with. Oh, I do have 7zip. No way. So I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for 7zip as well. So I'm just gonna extract it here. If I can shoot, I can. I'm gonna just clean it out myself. God damn it. Come on. Come on, hurry up. Come on, come on. Come up there, go. There we go. Alright, let's get rid of this background image. Alright, now we get. Actually, I'll leave it there but just in case. Now we're gonna have these things. No, if I remember what to do properly. Frequently. Okay, let's go to. Let's go to. Uh, I'll run. Looks like I have to update my computer. Okay. Good. No, you don't do that. Oh my god. Just right now. Okay, you go to my computer. Then go to your C drive. Go to your program files A6. Just press um uh, OBS. Sure. I forgot what it was called. Um, go to plugins and then you just place the if this file into here. As you see right there. Now and also put this DLL file into here as well. What else you need to do? I won't do that because I already have that in there, so I'm just going to delete that. So once you put that into the hair, and here comes the tricky part. Now let's close this and open up OBS, which is here. Okay. Alright, um, now you're going to have to, I'm going to add another scene here. I'm just going to put it out, okay? Alright, so we're going to have to do this. Now go into the sources file, uh, sources box, right click, add, then you should have a CLR browser. Click that, 
name whatever you want. Okay. Now here comes the fun bit. Waiting. Apparently. Oh god. This is gonna be a while. Alright, there we go. It should pop up. There we go. Now you're gonna have to go back to the dashboard. This is where, uh, where the URL comes in. You're gonna have to copy this whole entire URL. Copy and press C control. See, or you just right click and press copy there. Go back into the file there. Get rid of this crap. Then paste it in there. That's pretty much all you have to do. That's literally all you have to do. It's okay. So don't worry about the CSS thing. Don't worry about it at all. So I'm gonna start recording. God damn it. Okay, you know what? Let's just close this. Let's just go over here. Let's just streaming this one. If I probably can. Can I? Damn it. Okay. Well, whatever. That's pretty much all you have to do. After that, you can test it by starting the stream. Close that. Starting the stream. Um, which you can. Oh. That's a video I was watching while waiting for the free download to finish. Thanks a lot. So let's go to twitch.tv slash forward slash my name. Okay. After that, you should. Oh god, my is frozen. Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? You gotta be kidding me, what the hell now? Oh crap, there's no battery in my friggin' mouse. Alright, give me a second. You just take a second. No, that's small batteries. That's dead. It. You can test all these four, one, um, four buttons, and it will, in a couple seconds there should be a delay. It won't be instantaneous. It should view on your OBS first, and then on your stream. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you didn't see anything weird. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.